Well, hello there, my little soldiers. So, look, War 447 ended with the U.S. victory. And so we're on to War 448. I just wanted to point out a couple of things early in the war, specifically to the to the U.S. generals. Um, but it's kind of interesting the way things shake out. I, I just wanted to have an open discussion about a few things. So, first of all, in Scandinavia, like, uh, for as long as I've been playing, for probably about two years now, uh, from the beta into this open release... Scandinavia has always been the biggest question mark of what to push. I mean, not the biggest question mark, but definitely a source of contention. If you look on the forums, there's always people crying about Scandinavia. The U.S. thinks it belongs to them. The Soviets think it belongs to them. Germany always goes up and takes Copenhagen um, early in the war. Like, it's just, it's a mess, to be honest. Um, but it seems critical to win with three capitals for either side. So if you're the U.S., you want those three capitals. If you're the Soviets, you want those three capitals. I mean, look at what the difference would make. Um, three of the – they're all on the Soviet right now, but look at the swing would uh, would turn and would, would basically even the U.S. and the Germans up, and the Soviets would be down by one town if you were to swing those three towns. So it's an absolute critical battleground. Um, and you'll find people that, that love fighting up there. And I tell you what, just from a, from being on both sides, because I've played Soviet with about 70 command points. And I've played on the U.S. side with about five command points. And honestly, like these battles up here are, are a ton of XP to grind out your attack teams. Um, there's always battles up there. The problem is, is that at night, a lot of them auto-resolve uh, while we're at work during the daytime, which is a Soviet prime time. Like you just can't find good battles up there. It's, it's, uh, it's tough. And then when you go into our prime time, um, it's off time for the Soviets, and so then we ought to resolve stuff. It, it, it's a nightmare. Um, but look at this. <clears throat> so Soviets right now have a have a, a line, uh, a front line, a war line that starts down here and goes, which, which I'm, the Germans are absolutely stumping them right here, uh, which is fantastic for us and for them, to be honest, because that's a source of contention is when the Soviets start breaking down this Istanbul line. Uh, down into here, uh, Belgrade, Budapest, these two capitals in here. Uh, but look at their front line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 20, 20. Uh, Let's say 50 battles between here and here. <clears throat> this is uh, extremely in the Soviet favor early in the war. And why? Because they don't have a Q. If you go into HQ and you look at faction resources for the U.S., um, we can't maintain a front that's so large because we don't pump out the amount of infantry that are out there. Um, you can't get reinforcements. So if you start a battle and you have 30 troops in, or 36 troops in your in your little squad or um, in your attack team and you lose 10, you just have 26 until they die because you're not going to get you know 3,100 attack teams out before you get your reinforcements. Like it's just absolutely insane. So the American generals don't want to come out here. And place troops on this line. Like, let's look. 1,300 troops here. Huge amount for the U.S. I'm surprised. But look at this front line. If we were to go behind there, there's there's probably nothing in here. And I don't have my troops over here. But there's just, it's so hard for us to field the amount of troops that are needed to, to beat. And you get these mismatches. Look at that. We're, we're going to lose this because of 40 troops. We can't get 40 troops in there. And that battle is actually playing, which was nice in our favor. But you can tell where they start. The Soviets are smart. They just put in just enough to beat you. Look, no vehicles. None. It's all foot soldiers. How, how are the guys supposed to win these battles? No bikes. But look at this. It's the Soviet side. They don't have enough in credits. So as you look at moving your attack teams, that's what's important. Um, to be honest, like I'd prefer that we have a smaller front earlier in the war and give them... Berlin and let them have just let them have Berlin make this line longer and make them fight more German battles let us stockpile let us get our troops out <clears throat> and then we can focus our battles but that's for another day as far as moving around um, but it's just basically day three of the war in uh, not in 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 real hours but in uh, in game hours the war started yesterday so uh, it goes about four days to a real day I guess is, is probably about right or close um, so if you look at these at these battles, like it's uh, it just and I've got some troops moving. I wanted to check our front line because it looks like they're just punching through here, and all I have is walkers because that's all I can get out on day one. So if we take a look at what's down this line, okay, 
So we can see this town now. What's on this town? So this town has 596. I'm not going to move anything else in there. We don't need more than that, but we need 180 to make a fair battle here. So I'm going to kind of stand my ground here and uh, so they can't punch through and be, you know, three towns, four towns out of Paris. Uh, these guys will fight and fall back. So <coughs> we'll move them back as needed. So anyway, that's kind of day three of the war. You can see the fronts. Um, it's a huge triangle looking front right now. Uh, which should change drastically here as the U.S. are heading into uh, German and then U.S. prime time. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up. Like your thoughts about attack teams moving, getting out of the queue, um, where to put your, your defensive lines up at uh, based on what the war map looks like right now. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these videos, the updates on the wars. Um, if you're at work and watching these, you can kind of uh, keep track if you can't log in and take a look at it. Anyways, B2 and I'm out.